Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Monday evening, September 23, 2024. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video. I'd really appreciate it if you guys get this video up to 100 likes. If you don't know by now, that's how the YouTube algorithm works. We all like the video and then the YouTube algorithm pushes the video out to more persons who are in the path of these tropical systems. That we can keep everyone safe, especially in the peak of Atlantic hurricane season, that's August through to October. Share this video with your friends, your co-workers, your relatives, and even your church brethren, and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Leave a comment down below letting me know what the that's been like in your year recently. Also, feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific area. Alright, so let us take a look at the U.S. National Hurricane Center 7-day graphical tropical weather outlook. We see that across the main development region, we still have that system, that tropical wave, that has a high chance, a 70% chance at that, of becoming our next system after potential tropical cyclone number 9, which is Helene. I want to know the next name after Helene is Isaac. According to the Hurricane Center, regarding this system across the main development region, a tropical wave near the Cabo Verde Islands is producing disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity. Environmental conditions appear generally favorable for gradual development of this system and a tropical depression is likely to form during the middle to latter part of this week while it moves westward to west-northwestward across the eastern and central tropical Atlantic. And we see that they've given it a 20% chance of cyclone formation within the next 48 hours and a 70% of cyclone formation within the next 7 days. But our main focus is on potential tropical cyclone number 9 which is now right there to the west of Jamaica. Right now, according to the Hurricane Center, it is packing maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour. So it is in and around tropical depression status if I'm not mistaken. It is right now moving towards the north northwest at 7 miles per hour and we see that they've now issued a tropical storm warning in the blue for the Cayman Islands, well Grand Cayman more specifically, western end of Cuba and the northeastern end of the Yucatan Peninsula right there and they've also issued a hurricane watch in the pink for those ears just in case the system becomes a hurricane before making it through that region and we also see that is expected to become an H that stands for hurricane and even an M that stands for major hurricane before it makes its way towards Florida definitely gonna be lashing the Florida panhandle possibly moving northward into Alabama or Georgia I know that we have friends or relatives in these areas from the Cayman Islands, Cuba, the Yucatan, Florida so please ensure that you get in touch with them let them know exactly what is happening because we've been through it, we know these systems are power outages for days if not weeks. So get in touch today. If we take a look back at the inferred satellite images, the rainbow satellite images, we can definitely see the clouds associated with this system. Especially right there in and around the Cayman Islands to the west of Jamaica where we have the deepest convection as represented by the oranges, the reds. We see Jamaica right here. For the most part today, we had cloudy conditions, if not sunny conditions. But we can see that as the sun started to go down, we started to get in on more cloud cover and more rainfall, all courtesy of the outer bands of the system. The circulation is definitely trying to wrap up. So the outer bands, the spiral banding around the system is starting to come in. And most of the rainfall is going to be coming in from a southeasterly kind of fashion across the island tonight into tomorrow for sure so expect more rainfall if we take a look at what the supercomputer models are showing we're just going to be going up to the next 48 or is that the next two days to see exactly what's going to be unfolding and we're going to be looking at the timestamp right here we're going to be focusing our attention on the moisture across the central to the western caribbean right here so as we go out in time, we can definitely see that we still have a lot more moisture to receive across Jamaica. This is valid for 6Z on Tuesday, which is actually 1am on Tuesday. And we see the heavy rainfall definitely lashing 
portions of Grand Cayman, the yellows, the oranges, that's some ridiculous rainfall. Some greens that represent anywhere from one to maybe four inches of rainfall still affecting portions of Jamaica. If not rainfall, definitely overcast skies. As we continue to go out in time, on Tuesday we still have more rainfall to receive. Into Wednesday, we still see that although the system has pushed further westward and northward, right there between the Yucatan Peninsula and Western Cuba, we still have some moisture to receive across Jamaica for 12Z on Wednesday, which is actually 7 a.m. on Wednesday. So we still might have some rainfall lingering. But as we head into Thursday now on the Euro, even although, yes, we're seeing more whites, we still have some greens, so we could still be receiving some isolated showers as well. But we're just going to be stopping right there at the next 48 hours, right there. If we look on the GFS, we can see that we have the system right there to the west of the island. And as we continue to go out in time now, we see what's happening. The system definitely wrapping up, getting even more intense. Not seeing much rainfall across Jamaica on this run of the GFS, this latest run. But look at this as we head into 0 Z on Wednesday, which is actually 7 p.m. on Tuesday. We start to get in on more of the moisture. And as stated, it's definitely going to be doing something like this. We see the lines of equal pressure around this system going around it in an anti-clockwise fashion. That's what it does. And it's going to be causing that southerly or southeasterly flow of a rainfall into portions of Jamaica, especially across the south coast. And then as we wrap up the 48 hours, this is 18 Z on Wednesday, which is actually 1 p.m. We still have some rainfall to receive on Wednesday for sure. And if we take a look at the accumulated precipitation for the next 48 hours, this month from the Euro and this month from GFS are both showing all the rainfall that's expected. From now up until if not 7 a.m. on Wednesday, all the way up to 1 p.m. on Wednesday. And we see now we still have some rainfall to receive. We see the key on the right that represents the yellows, the oranges, the reds, the, all the way up to the inch of rainfall margin. But we see the heaviest of the rainfall within the next 48 hours should be up to the west of Jamaica where we see those purples, those pinks, those salmon colors and those blues within all of that that represents anywhere from 3 to 4 to 8 all the way up to 12 inches of rainfall. And we see that both the year and the GFS malls are in consensus with the heaviest of the rainfall to the west of the island. So the Cayman Islands definitely going to be lashed. Some flash flooding could definitely take place for sure. If we take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening, we can see that we still have numerous troughs of low pressure right there across the northern portion of the North Atlantic. We can also see that we have that area of low pressure as represented by the L to the west of Jamaica, potential trop tropical cyclone number nine, that is. We can see that the tropical wave right there is uh, right there off the coast of northeastern South America. The moisture has already been coming into portion of the Windward Islands associated with that tropical wave. We can see a ridge of high pressure right there. And we see a tropical wave right here. And all of this, the tropical, well, the high pressure ridge is responsible for sending the easterlies across the main development region. This is definitely going to be what's steering, especially this tropical wave near the Cabo Verde Islands towards the west that the hurricane center is watching. And if we take a look at the visible satellite images of the Atlantic to see all of what we just saw, we can see the ears of low pressure and the frontal system, the troughs right here as we just saw on the surface map. We can see the tropical wave right here to the northeast of South America. Definitely has a lot of moisture associated with it, tonguing into portions of the Windward Islands as we speak. We can also see the clouds associated with that tropical wave that the hurricane center is watching closer to Africa. That has a high chance of development the more it goes towards the west. And we can see the huge amount of clouds associated with potential tropical cyclone number nine across the central to the western Caribbean. Definitely spinning away. Definitely lots of moisture associated with it. And more of that expected tonight into tomorrow as well. Alright, so we'll be talking more about the rest of the Caribbean weather later on. Let us focus our attention on what was predicted in the video that was posted this morning. If you don't know by now, a video was posted on our YouTube page this morning, highlighting what the weather was like from last night into early Monday morning. And we also viewed some comments and read them regarding what took place. And we also gave the forecast for the day in general. Either way. It was said that we would have received rainfall across the second of most parishes still throughout the day. 
on Monday, but that wasn't what happened. By the way, for reference, we know Eastern parishes, we're talking about those parishes in the county of Surrey, like Portland, St. Thomas, Kingston, St. Andrew. Central parishes, I know we're talking about those parishes in the county of Middlesex, like St. Anne, St. Mary, Manchester, Clarendon, St. Catherine. Well, Western parishes, I know we're talking about those parishes in the county of Cornwall, like St. Elizabeth, Westmoreland, Hanover, St. James, Trelawney. Northern parishes, I know we're talking about those parishes on top, like Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland. Southern parishes, I know we're talking about those parishes on the bottom side of the island, like St. Thomas, Kingston, St. Andrew, St. Catherine, Clarendon, Manchester, St. Elizabeth, and Westmoreland. And what ended up happening? It was around the afternoon hours that we started to get in on more rainfall. As a matter of fact, throughout the day today, we had, if not cloudy conditions, sunshine peeking out in some spot. But at around 4.10 p.m., the Cuban Doppler radar images were posted on our Twitter page. By the way, keep in mind that these posts aren't only made here on our Twitter page at Weather Jamaica, but they're also made on our Instagram page at weather.jamaica, on our TikTok page at Weather Jamaica, and on our Facebook page at Weather Jamaica A76. So if you have one of those social media platforms, please ensure that you follow us there as we make posts throughout the day that you can't afford to miss. So we can see that we were starting to get in on more moisture. We saw some dots of greens across section of St. Thomas, section of Clarendon and Manchester right there. And we highlighted that. And we also highlighted the fact that we had some rain bands coming in from the south this afternoon that would set the stage for what's to, you know, take place this evening. And we're definitely getting in on that rainfall even as we speak. The time is now what 7 33 p.m and we're definitely getting some amount of rainfall right now across portions of the island the comments are definitely coming in right now and we can also see the infrared satellite image that was posted at around 6 5 p.m this evening highlighting the clouds coming in with that rainfall that we saw to the south of us definitely affecting portions of westmoreland section of hanover st james st elizabeth Manchester, Clarendon, St. Catherine, and even portion of Portland and St. Thomas getting in on that uh, rainfall. And we can see it all even better right now. We can even see some sparkling white dust right there that will now indicate some lightning strikes, if not lightning flashes, right there to the northwest of St. James, to the north of Hanover, as well as to the south of St. Catherine. We're definitely getting lashed as we speak. And we definitely have some confirmation from some of our followers. We have Dalton Spence stating, it just starting raining in my section of Port Moore. Chef stating heavy rain in Southern Clarendon. Leo Queen heavy rain in Spanish Town pouring. Even on our Facebook page where the comments coming in. Lisa Taylor and look at these. These are within the hour. Lisa Taylor Saunders raining in Montego Bay. Charmaine Finley raining in Kingston. Jackie Baines raining in South Trelawney. Cassandra Rowe. Raina Drapa South St. Elizabeth. McCrop smiling and my tanks full. We also have some comments coming in here on our Instagram page. KK Sweets 2 stating Portmore cold and nice rain pouring. This was posted about 16 minutes ago. Bry underscore Dre underscore Mommy raining in Mobe. We also had underscore Jermaine that underscore stating Spanish Town flooding rain. Chevy underscore Chev stating pouring in Old Harbor. And then finally we have some more comments. KK Sweets Portmore cold and nice rain pouring. Anisha 21, Anisha 21 stating hard rain of fall, a sandy bay clarinan and it's cold. And if we take a look at what took place regarding the live stream on C Jamaica's YouTube channel, this was earlier today, 2 11 pm on the crossroads cam, and we can definitely see that it was a sunny day in general for the well, not sunny day. I guess the clouds started to peak out at some points for sure. Just to show that we didn't have much in the way for rainfall today, eh? apart from that rainfall in the early morning hours, definitely tricked a lot of us into not possibly going to work or school or whatever the case may be. But we can see that right now the rainfall has returned. By the way, the accumulated precipitation for the past 24 hours from the Caribbean Institute for Meteorology and Hydrology website definitely paints quite the picture of where we're having the rainfall right now across southern western and eastern parishes in jamaica as we speak and if we take a look at the very latest infrared satellite image that just came out at let's see 25 minutes past the hour so this just came out what nine nine minutes ago if i'm not mistaken or 11 minutes ago my apologies 
we can definitely see the cloud cover the oranges the reds represent that deep conviction and if we match it to what we're seeing on the cuban doppler radar right now as a matter of fact let's reload this now we have the very latest cuban doppler radar you can see by the way that most of the rainfall that was to the south of us has now pushed in northward definitely affecting portions of some especially southern parishes all right so this is as of let's see 8 30 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 7 30 p.m jamaica time so this latest doppler radar image just came out seven minutes ago and we can definitely see that we're experiencing some moderate to heavy rainfall right now across sections of saint elizabeth section of manchester clarnon especially across sections of saint catherine and we see that kingston and saint andrew are next in line followed by saint thomas for sure we see all of the rain bands coming in from the south some isolated flash flooding could be possible and the thing is we could get in on uh, some more rainfall tonight we could also get in on a break and then we get in on more rainfall in the morning or it could be a case where we wake up tomorrow to sunshine and then when we get to work or school it is more rainfall or maybe the rainfall waits until the night or the evening for you know it to take place in our neck of the woods this is how it goes either way we still have all of the bonding associated with the spiraling of that shower activity into potential tropical cycle number nine notice most of the rainfall is coming in from the south or the southeast across the island we also have some rain bands exiting the coast of hanover and st james the signal that we've been getting rainfall on the north coast as well and if we take a look at the guantanamo bay cuban military radar we can also make out some rainfall as we speak right there between haiti and jamaica as well as cuba we see the blues the greens the yellows represent some light to moderate to heavy rainfall and as stated in this morning's video we highlighted that the cayman radar would have been very busy today and we also saw it just now let's see if it loads because i'm sure that it's going to be crashing up because a lot of persons are going to be visiting the cayman radar site to see what's happening regarding this cyclone and we can definitely see the shower and thunderstorm activity definitely lashing grand cayman as we speak some flash flooding could definitely take place throughout the night for sure and if we take a look right here at the very latest this is showing the flat bridge cam the latest we're definitely having some heavy rainfall as we speak we can definitely see the rainfall pushing forth and pushing through for sure and keep in mind that this is as of 7 40 pm so this is right now flat bridge definitely a bad situation <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised if this heavy rainfall persists within the next hour maybe the river could be in a spate right there we know how dangerous the rear cobra can be in general not seeing much and we have vehicles passing through definitely a smart idea to not cross the river right now with the heavy rainfall that's taking place if we take a look at the temperatures right now though we can see about 26 degrees Celsius in both Montego Bay and Kingston and let's see if we reload these images by about 4 a.m. on Tuesday temperature should it down to about 25 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay 26 degrees Celsius in Kingston taking a look here at the temperature forecast for tomorrow this map from the GFS is showing 18 t on Tuesday when calculated that's about 1 p.m. on Tuesday and we can see Jamaica right here with some yellows on the eastern side of the island some grays on the central portion of the island and some blues on the western portion of the island so with potential tropical cyclone to the west temperatures are gonna be cooler on the western half of the island as well as average on the central portion of the island and above average on the eastern portion of the island so it's quite a mixture of average below average and above average temperatures as we can see right here anywhere and con by the way considering that for september the average temperatures are close to 90 degrees fahrenheit i want to calculate it 90 degrees fahrenheit is about the same as 32.2 degrees celsius so we should be receiving anywhere from let's say 31 32 maybe 33 degrees celsius at most for jamaica's temperature on tuesday 
and the hottest temperature should be across the east the average temperatures across central jamaica and the coolest temperatures across western jamaica but it could be cooler than average temperatures in general we have the rain bands and more than likely it's going to be cooler than normal within the vicinity of shower and thunderstorm activity if we take a look here at tips to beat the heat if you don't know by now always drink lots of water even if you're not you know thirsty stay hydrated as much as possible that's how we beat the heat and if you don't have much water with you, buy some fruits, right? Bananas, grapes, watermelon, apples, you name it. If we take a look here at the siren, this forecast, we can still see that we're in the clear across the majority of the Atlantic. All the browns that represent the siren. This should be closer to Africa as well as across the eastern portions of the main development region for 2 p.m. on Tuesday. As it relates to the wave forecast for tomorrow, we can see that for tomorrow, the highest waves should be right there in the purples and the burgundies within all of that. That represents anywhere from 2 to all the way up to what, 6 meter wave heights or more. While the rest of the Caribbean should be getting in on those blues that represents anywhere from 1 to 1.5 meter wave heights. And that's because the winds are not going to be that strong at all. Averaging anywhere, let's see if we can reload these images, don't know why they choose they chose to glitch out all of a sudden showing more whites than anything else all right so here we go so as expected potential tropical cycle number nine should be right there out to the west of jamaica and we see the strong flow of wind around that circulation this explains why we're getting in on that southeastern flow this also explains why we're getting in on that moisture from the southeast across especially southern jamaica as we speak and we can see that across the Caribbean in general, we're going to be getting in on those greens that represents anywhere from 15 to 20 knots and higher wind gusts across the Western Caribbean where that tropical storm is located anywhere from 25 knots all the way up to the 14 knot wind range, all the way up to tropical storm force wind. It all makes sense. And as it relates to what's expected across Jamaica for tomorrow, just slightly a while ago, if not an east southeasterly flow, a southeasterly flow, and we see the general trend for these winds to be averaging from 15 to 20 knots. So if we don't get rain across southern Jamaica because the rain is coming in from off the sea, we might get some some afternoon rainfall across northern Jamaica. That's where the air is going to be piling up. As we can see here, that's where we have the least amount of winds. So those cumulus clouds might just become mid-level rain clouds, if not upper-level cumulus nimbus clouds during the afternoon. That's if we're not already getting that rainfall from the outer bands of potential tropical cyclone number nine and if we take a look at the actual rainfall forecast maps now this map from the euro and this map from the gfs are both showing all the rainfall that's expected at around 9 p.m eastern standard time it's actually 8 p.m jamaica time so within the next what 15 minutes from now these are the areas that the euro and the gfs has the rainfall across especially southwestern jamaica on the euro southern jamaica gfs has more of it across southern jamaica we see the darker blues but the thing is if we look back at the cuban doppler radar we're seeing the rainfall already so it is nothing new definitely already on track to being correct skipping ahead now to about 6 a.m eastern standard time is actually 5 a.m jamaica time we're seeing that rainfall on the euro model as indicated by the blues across southern and western parishes maybe sections of hanover westmoreland st elizabeth manchester clarinet st catherine maybe kingston maybe even st thomas but we're not seeing it that much on the gfs for the same time period so we don't have the consensus skipping ahead now to about 2 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 1 p.m jamaica time we still see rainfall across portion of the island but we don't see the consensus Euro has more of the rainfall across western and southwestern Jamaica with these dark blues and greens, yellows, oranges. GFS has more of the rainfall for that time period across southern and southeastern parishes. We'll see how that goes if we continue to look at the forecast. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is actually 4 p.m. Jamaica time. We see the blues represent rainfall, especially across southern Jamaica. Then finally by 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is actually 8 p.m. Jamaica time on Tuesday we see that we still have more rainfall to receive more darker blues than anything else 
coming into portion of southern and eastern jamaica it's gonna be interesting to see how the next 24 hours actually goes and we can actually see the accumulated precipitation for the next 24 hours right here this map from the euro and this map from gfs are both showing all the rainfall that's expected from now until 3 is on wednesday when calculated that's all the rainfall that's expected from now until 10 pm on tuesday and we definitely see all of the reds that represents up to an inch of rainfall especially on the euro right here for a portion of Clarina, manchester st elizabeth westmoreland section of st thomas getting in on the action gfs showing something similar but the most rainfall should be across south central and southeastern jamaica not much across southwestern jamaica maybe some oranges you know all of that represents all the way up to 0 0.5 all the up to 0 0.75 an inch of rainfall we'll see how that goes either way we're still in for some isolated flash flooding taking place the meteorological service has definitely extended that flash flood watch for sections of the island not a flash flood warning like i hear some people saying it is indeed a flash flood watch a model of flash flooding has been you know taking place in some spot just some isolated spots in general but we'll definitely take it for sure we're in the month of september we're in the peak or almost at the peak of our rainy season in kingston whose bar graph is being shown right here at the top we just received close to 100 millimeters of rainfall that's almost four inches of rainfall in montego bay we just received close to seven inches of rainfall that's almost 175 millimeters of rainfall and keep in mind that if you'd like to see what your specific parish receives throughout the year you can visit weatherandclimate.com and you can use this little graphic right here that calculates the rainfall from inches to millimeters that's usually seen on the rain gauge we know that one inch of rainfall is about the same as 25 millimeters of rainfall so you do the math all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let us focus our attention on the rest of the caribbean so as stated portions of cuba hispaniola the cayman Islands, central america Portion of Northern South America and even the Windward Islands have been getting an some amount of rainfall, if not from potential troughs, tropical waves, you name it, or the usual afternoon convection. If we take a look right here at the Doppler radar images of the Northeastern Caribbean for today, well, right now we can see some hit or miss isolated showers in and around the Leeward Islands, some rainfall across southern Puerto Rico, section of northeastern Dominican Republic, lots of rainfall to the north of Puerto Rico. And if we take a look at the Doppler radar images from earlier today, portion of central Puerto Rico definitely gotten on some rainfall for sure during the daytime heating hours. And if we take a look at the Barbados radar, we can make out some of that rainfall associated with the moisture from that tropical wave already coming in from the east. Definitely passing to the north of Barbados, maybe going to be affecting portion of Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Some of this rainfall definitely going to be affecting portion of Barbados as are it's possibly already affecting section of Barbados coming in from the east. We can also see some rainfall coming into portion of Tobago and some of that rainfall will definitely make it westward into Trinidad as well. And that's really what we're seeing on the wider view of Doppler radar images. We can see some rainfall already affecting portion of northwestern Venezuela. That rainfall associated with PTC number 9 right there. Sucking into or moving away from the coast of Nicaragua and pushing northward. We can also see that rainfall associated with the outer bands of PTC number 9 already affecting the Yucatan Peninsula. We can also see some rainfall across Belize, Guatemala as well. And if we take a look at what's expected within the next 24 hours, this map from the GFS and this map from the Euro are both showing all the rainfall that's expected from now until 3Z on Wednesday. When calculated, that's all the rainfall that's expected from now until 10 p.m. on Tuesday. And we do see the rainfall associated with the tropical wave. That's to affect the, especially the windward islands, if not the southern leeward islands, anywhere from Antigua and Barbuda southward. Guadeloupe, Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, Barbados. If they're not already getting that rainfall right now, it's definitely coming within the next 24 hours. We can also see if we look southward for more rainfall in store for sections of Trinidad and Tobago, Venezuela as well, sections of Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, Belize, the Yucatan Peninsula, the Cayman Islands definitely the cayman islands gonna be getting another most in the way of rainfall with portions of western nicaragua southern honduras and sections of el salvador next in line for the heaviest rainfall across the western hemisphere and we see 
that we have rainfall in store as well for section of Cuba, the Bahamas, Haiti, Dominican Republic, isolated shirts for section of Puerto Rico, and even section of Florida. And we see that both the year and the GFS models are in consensus with this forecast. I know that when they're in consensus like this, the chances of it actually happening are much higher. All right, so that's it for today. If we wake up to rainfall tomorrow, I'll definitely be making a, a post. But not really 100% sure about what's going to be happening tomorrow. As stated, these systems are tricky. We might wake up to rainfall or we might have a break tonight. And then to maybe some sunshine, waking up to sunshine, if not cloudy conditions. Or it could be a case where we're getting a lot of rainfall. Alright, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching.